part for the playing of the 1997 Minor Harding and Aaron Road Minor Harding Wiley County Final between James Stevens from the City and the Shamrocks at Valley Hay. James Stevens had 11 titles to their credit so far, the last was one in 1992, while the Shamrocks are going for their fourth, their last being one in 1976. Both these clubs have provided very entertaining value at underage level right down through the years and the big crowd here in Northern Park is looking forward to a great minor final today. So both teams are out on the field for this minor hurling Rhine County final. Shamrocks in their green, in the village in their fam familiar green and red colours. The flags are very still on the ground. Any breeze that's blowing will be helping the team playing from left to right. John Morgan is the captain of the village team. Tom Coogan, number seven, is the captain of the Shamrocks team. Dermot Ronan, the referee, out in the field, middle of the field as the village team limber up, down on our right. Shamrocks, Paul Phelan is their trainer. Paul will be on the Shamrocks team, which will contest the intermediate hurling final here next Sunday. And he is training the Shamrocks team this year. Young Dermot Ronan from Greg Valley Callan is the referee. A young man who has been involved in refereeing, running the line for quite a number of years now, very enthusiastic. And the two captains are in the centre of the field, John Morgan and Tom Coogan. John Morgan from the village has won the toss. And conditions quite good. Heavy overnight rain, but a good drying wind this morning. Must have dried out the ground sufficiently well. So James Stevens playing from left to right with whatever wind is blowing in their favour in the first half. And Dermot Ronan about to commence this game. Hugh Gannon and Joe Murphy against David Welch and Willie Cogan at centre field. And the minor final for 1997 in Ryan A is on. Shamrocks and James Stevens. Here's Huey Gannon, number eight for the village. 11, Shane O'Grady. He's beaten to it, however. Aidan Cummins playing at centre back. Shipped a heavy injury in the intermediate game last week, but back fully fit today. Shane Egan grabs that ball, makes towards goal. Hand passes it inside. A great chance and a goal for the village. Paddy Hogan, number 15, the score. Well, big Shane Egan, number 13, caught that ball, advanced forward. Paddy Hogan was loose inside, he got the pass and buried the ball past Brendan Costello. A goal for the village, nothing for the Shamrocks. Brendan Costello is the goalkeeper for the Shamrocks. Taken down by Shane O'Grady. Tom Coogan. Knocked away by Brian Holden. Henry Shefflin going through, taken down. A free in for the Shamrocks. Henry Shefflin, obviously the danger man on the Shamrocks forward line today. In the village all too well aware of that. John Morgan, their captain, the number six is the man marking him. Henry Shefflin with a free, 25 metres out in front of the post. A chance for a pint, surely. He takes the pint, that's the Shamrocks first score, the village one goal, Shamrocks one pint. Knocked away for the Shamrocks. Here come the village once again. That ball goes in, it's gone to the right, still in play. This side of the field, Tom Coogan. Paddy O'Brien is number 10, the ball has gone in from Shane Egan and gone over the bar. Shane Egan took that pass from Paddy O'Brien and sent the ball over the bar. One goal and one pint for James Stevens, one pint for the Shamrocks. Coming up to three minutes gone in the first half. Puck out drops in the middle of the field. Shamrocks with whatever, into whatever wind is blowing, favoring the village at this stage. Henry Shefflin nudges it forward. Liam Grant, number 10, the ball is inside. I, Ian Morrissey and nudges it out to this side of the field. Dave Tyrrell, he's beaten by Joe Welch. 
Joe Welch for the Shamrocks. The ball goes in. The goalkeeper comes out and it's taken by the goal. Henry Shefflin saw that ball coming in. The goalkeeper advanced. Niall Grogan. Shefflin got there first and nudged the ball to the back of the net. Number 11, Henry Shefflin, the scorer of that goal. Sides are level. One goal and one point each. Three and a half minutes gone in the first half. Huey Gannon once again winning a lot of ball in the middle of the field. Cut out by Aidan Cummins for the Shamrocks. Sean O'Keefe nudged away. Here's Henry Shefflin. This time he's beaten. Joe Murphy. Cummins gets that ball nicely. Ahead of O'Grady. Comes forward. Still Aidan Cummins. Nudges it forward. Dave Welch couldn't get onto that ball. Joe Murphy for the village sends him on the attack once again. Joey Murray, a full forward. Paul Shefflin is the full back. The referee blows. Perhaps he'll throw the ball in. <coughs> Shane O'Grady and Aidan Commons. Commons pulls first time. Henry Shefflin along the ground. Out comes Dermot Ryan for the village. He's beaten to the pull. David Tyrrell is beaten. Sean O'Keefe, number 14, going through. Still Sean O'Keefe. A shot from O'Keefe. Half the block down the goalkeeper did well. It's a 65. Now Sean O'Keefe's shot was half blocked down. The goalkeeper had to readjust and was happy to concede the 65. Shamrock's far was dangerous when they get that ball moving towards goal. So 65 for the Shamrocks. Aidan Cummins to take it. Centre half back. Wind is blowing against him, whatever wind is there. Cummins strikes it well, sends it high, it's dropping inside. Goalkeeper watches it, the referee blows and gives the free out to the village. Paul Phelan, trainer of the Shamrocks team. Must be happy enough with the start they've made. Five, six minutes almost gone, a goal and a pint each. Matt Root down there as well. He's the village man. One of the selectors, five selectors that the village have. Puck out, the free goes over the sideline, far side of the field. It'll be a sideline cut back up to the Shamrocks. And the other Sean O'Keefe looks like he's going to take this. There are two Sean O'Keefe's on the Shamrocks team. Just outside the village, James Stephen 65. They're the village in football, they're the James Stevens and Hurling, but Huey Gannon once again. And Huey Gannon does very well to come away with the ball. Knocked out of his hand. The Shamrocks on the attack once again. Ball gone over the sideline, another sideline ball for the Shamrocks on the 65 metre line. Or is it further out? Yes. Aidan Cummins to take it this time, exactly the centre of the field. Aidan Cummins. Oh, very short one. Dave Welch. Willie Coogan nudged it on. Here's John Morgan. Shane O'Grady and Cummins once again. This is going to be a great tussle for the hour. Cummins, shortish one. Breaks out to Liam Grant. Grant gets past his... Number seven, Owen O'Neill, still Liam Grant. Wasn't very convincing going forward and lost the ball. Owen O'Neill nudges it out. Here's Henry Shefflin. Far the Shamrocks. Gets onto his right hand side, well blocked down by John Morgan. Breaks to David Welch. Back to his midfield partner, Willie Coogan. Gets it up at the second attempt. Drives it forward. Here comes the Shamrocks once again. Henry Shefflin taken down there. He wins the free in. A little under 50 metres out, Henry himself will take it. Under 40 metres out, I should say, a little under it. And Henry Shefflin with this chance to nudge the Shamrocks ahead. Henry Shefflin strikes it well, sends it over the bar. One goal and two points for the Shamrocks, one goal and one for James Stevens. 
eight and a quarter minutes gone in the first half. Puck out from Niall Grogan, reaches the second 65. That's Paddy O'Brien. Off of Anthony Welsh, the ball breaks inside to Shane Egan once again, hand passes it out to Joey Murray. A little bit high for little Joey, but he has it. A shot from Joey Murray, well blocked down by John Healy. Murray again, a shot from Murray, and it's gone over the bar. And Shane Egan is causing a lot of trouble in there, catching those high balls, and he's distributing them very well. And Joey Murray persisted there until he got his pints. Skies are level, one goal and two pints each. Brendan Costello to puck out for the Shamrocks. Henry Shefflin ahead of John Morgan once again, nudged forward. Joe Welch across to the far side. Pat Reed. Dermot Ryan leaves it behind him but recovers. Reed knocks it away from him. Two are tussling. In nips Joe Murphy. Joe Murphy to the middle of the field. Shane O'Grady on his own 65 meter line across to this side of the field. Shane Egan only goes as far as Tom Coogan for the Shamrocks. Still Tom Coogan, nice little hurler this man. Very, very skillful, knocked away by the fullback Ian Morrissey. Grant nudges it into the center. Sean O'Keefe the full forward, back to Grant. Liam Grant overhead shot, a good shot, and it's gone over the pint bar. That's a very good pint by Liam Grant, number 10. Paul feeling like that one. Liam Grant, number 10, the score of that pint. One goal and three pints for the Shamrocks, one goal and two pints for James Stevens. Ten and a half minutes gone in the first half. Here's Joe Welch for the Shamrocks. Shamrocks doing very well so far in this first half. The ball breaks inside to Sean O'Keefe. Pat Reed. A shot from Reed. Sends the ball, it's just gone to the right and gone wide. He was under pressure from Dermot Ryan. Here's Niall Grogan pucking out. Win behind him. Knocked away by David Welch. Over the sideline, sideline ball for James Stevens. Joe Murphy, number nine.